John, look who popped in the booth unexpectedly. <laughs> Hi, Larry. I'm John Murphy. How are you? Nice to meet you. Larry Pete Weber. Where do I know you from, Weber? Oh, only Capital Center a few times. Aha. Uh -huh. That's where. Remember J. Michael Kenyon and so on, doing promos for him back on KVI in Seattle. You know who J. Michael Kenyon is, John? No. J. Michael Kenyon uh, fell as a child, <laughs> foul ball back, uh, out of the crib, and uh, no one knows who in the family <laughs> tipped the crib. Uh, it's been a lifelong Kenyan secret as to who did that, but the man is definitely deranged. Lou Thornton is the batter for the Chiefs. He did foul off the first one. It's 0-1 the count. Bison's leading 5 to nothing, and the Chiefs have a runner at second. Kramer's pitch. Thornton swings and misses strike two. I am very impressed with this ballpark and uh, the whole flavor here. This, I, I didn't know what to expect, and it's, uh, it's uh, infinitely nicer than I thought it would be. It's a major league ballpark. Uh, and I have, I, I have a feeling that I'm in an older ballpark, which is what... Uh, Pitch is high and away. Uh, <laughs> I can't. No, go ahead. Tennessee that. to take that's, that's over. To uh, Edward Vanna Williams, uh, where they're talking about the design of the new Orioles stadium. They're going to get a new baseball stadium right downtown in the harbor in Baltimore. And he wants it to look old and be new. And uh, I'm going to tell him it's bounced to first and an easy play to beat him to the bag. When it goes to third, and we have two out. A runner on third for Syracuse. The rather hapless Chiefs in the basement Larry, you and said trailing 5 nothing. You said uh, on the field earlier tonight that the, the ballpark almost reminds you of Ebbets Field in, in Brooklyn. Yeah, it does. There's a feeling. Uh, there's an Ebbets Field, Wrigley Field, uh, Braves Field, Fenway Parkish, more Ebbets Field. See, when you look up, the, I could tell you we just refurbished this ballpark. It's 50 years old. And you could say, yeah, I am still... They're right. This is a 50-year-old ballpark, beautifully refurbished. Well, we're That's putting the, the hit sign, win suit sign, out in right field pretty yeah, soon. Abe Stark, if they put that up, that <laughs> makes it. Hit sign, win suit. The sign was three feet off the ground, and in right center field underneath the scoreboard with Snyder and Ferrillo patrolling. Chris no Shaddy. one ever won a suit. Shaddy is the batter for Syracuse, and he takes a strike. He's behind 0-2, runner at third, two out. Do most AAA teams wear uniforms similar to their counterparts in the majors, as Syracuse is doing similar to Toronto, but Buffalo does not do vis-a-vis re, re, -vis Pittsburgh? Most uh, do copy the parent team. 0-2 to Shetty is outside. So the Bisons have their own identity no matter who. Their own look. Their own, their own feeling. Like Albuquerque and Indianapolis, basically, in the AAA ranks. A couple of years ago when they were White Sox affiliates, so they had the White Sox style uniforms. Oh. I think people prefer these uniforms much, much more. Pitch misses low, it's two and two to Shaddy. Oh, I've never been a fan of the Toronto uniform, which is sort of the Kansas City blue. Uh, it's a blue that doesn't do anything. White doesn't look good against it. The numbers look weird. Uh, I never was a fan, so as soon as I walked in, I looked over to Toronto. <laughs> 2-2 to Shanty. Called strike three. Kramer strikes him out. His second strikeout. And the Chiefs get a runner on, but he's left stranded in third. No runs on the hit. No errors. The man left at third after four and a half. The score of the Bisons five. The Chiefs nothing. It's Bison Baseball on Sports Radio 930 WBEN. WBEN Buffalo. We are back at Pilot Field, and talk show host Larry King is our guest here. He's always wanted to do baseball play-by-play -play on radio, so now he shall, as the Bisons take their 5 nothing lead to the bottom of the fifth. Larry, we don't do voices here like John Miller. Huh. We do our darndest, but here you go. John wants, he did a whole half, I'd be had me do a whole half inning in Baltimore as, uh, as Brian Little leads off the bottom of the fifth, the Bison's comfortably ahead 5 to nothing before a near sellout crowd on dedication night of Pilot Field. The second place now, Buffalo Bison's Indianapolis has taken over first by virtue of their victory and Buffalo's defeat last night. First pitch is high and in tight from left-hander Jack O'Connor. Syracuse Chiefs struggling in the basement in the International League West under the new alliance arrangement. International League and American Association teams meet this year. The 1 0 pitch is on the corner. Strike one. One ball, one strike on Brian Little, who's walked twice. He'll be followed by Tommy Gregg. 
who they tell me is destined for the big leagues, and then Orestes Destrada, the big Bison first baseman. O'Connor kicks and delivers to Little, who swings and hits it down the left field line, and it is fair and off the wall, and Little will trot easily into second base with a stand-up double. So Brian Little, after two walks, hits it sharply down the left field line, one kick right off the 325-foot sign, and Little is on second base. Now they're putting up my name on the scoreboard. This is a high for a Jewish kid from Brooklyn to see your <laughs> name on the scoreboard. What do you mean? I'm sitting here in the booth reading your book. <laughs> That's right, my God. This is really my night. Tommy Gregg, the young left fielder hitting 310, who everyone says is going to be playing in the National League one day soon. One of the tough things about rooting in the triple-a leagues it must be hard is to accept the fact that you get used to someone who says goodbye after a while when the big leagues beckon the first pitch to greg is high and away ball one one ball no strikes on tommy greg brian little is on second base with the leadoff double destrada is on deck o'connor is working for syracuse and buffalo leads it five to nothing bottom of the fifth o'connor checks second and delivers the change up misses inside two balls no strikes on Tommy Gregg. There's your red barber device, Larry. Yes, this is the little device, the little sand thing that goes down, and when it finishes, you better give the score. If you haven't given the score, you are not doing your audience a favor. The 2-0 pitch to Gregg is swung on and lined in the left field, but directly at the left field, who backpedals two steps and uh, makes the catch. The line drive to Geronimo Barroa. And we have one down for Buffalo as Greg skies to left. That'll bring up Destrada, who has struck out once and walked once. Bisons have only three hits, but one of them, a three-run home run for Denny Gonzalez. That is the essential difference in a 5-0 Buffalo lead. Brian Little remains the second as Destrada, big overly close dance, comes to the plate. O'Connor delivers, Estrada takes high, Destrada takes high, ball one. One ball, no strikes on Arrestus Destrada, who has hit eight home runs and knocked in 22 runs in this still young 1988 season. The gentlemen, Sid Thrift and the Pirates are looking closely at Destrada. Might provide late season help to a Pittsburgh team that is causing trouble in the National League East. Next pitch is foul back, one ball, one strike, one out. Estrada hitting 237. He is not here to hit for average. He is here to deliver the long ball and RBIs. O'Connor gets settled. Little leads off second. Dave Hostetler, the much traveled Dave Hostetler, stands on deck. The 1 1 pitch is taken on the inside corner. Good curveball. One ball, two strikes to Arrestes Estrada. Quite a preakness today. The Philly beaten. We will have no Triple Crown champion in horse racing. The Belmont comes up three weeks from today. That's a mile and a half in New York City or on the island. The one-two pitch is swung on and missed. Strike three. And for the second time tonight, Estrada is a victim of the strikeout. So after a leadoff double by Brian Little, Greg skies to left, and Destrada strikes out, and that'll bring up Dave Hostetler, who played last year in Japan. Hostetler, no home runs, hitting 182 and three RBIs. Once he was going to be a major, major league ball player. There was much talk about Hostetler. He has now become what they might call at age 32 the journeyman ball player. First pitch is high and inside. Ball one. If you throw it high to Hostetler, you're throwing it pretty high. Denny Gonzalez is on deck. He hit the three-run home run to give the Bisons that big cushion that came in the fourth inning. O'Connor checks Little, still on second after the leadoff double, and the pitch is low and just missing on the inside corner. Two balls, no strikes to Dave Hostetler. Gonzalez on deck. If you just joined us, this is official dedication night of Pilot Field. This field uh, and this beautiful stadium is now officially part of the city of 
Buffalo, New York. Hostetler has gotten the sign from Rocky Bridges. He takes just missing on the outside corner. Three balls, no strikes. O'Connor logically complaining. That pitch was pretty close to take. Rocky Bridges managing and coaching at third. I remember Rocky Bridges when he first came to Brooklyn. He was one in the line of many who was going to replace Pee Wee Reese. Rocky Bridges sat in the dugout on October 3rd, 1951. He was a backup Dodger infielder when Bobby Thompson hit the home run that broke my heart. <laughs> the 3-0 pitch to Dave Hostetler is swung on. He got the go and he drives it, but directly to dead center field where Rob Ducey, standing in his tracks, makes the catch. So after a leadoff double by Brian Little, O'Connor retires the Bisons in order uh, little uh, with the double Greg skies to left Estrada strikes out Hostetler flies to center no runs one hit no errors and one man left on at the end of five completed pilot field it's Buffalo 5 Syracuse nothing and you're listening on sports radio 930 WBEN I washed my car winners meet WBEN radio 930 As, uh, as uh, this Larry King of my role is over. I did a perfect job. You uh, heard every play. You could picture the game. It came alive in front of your ears. We go into the top of the six with uh, Buffalo leading Syracuse five to nothing, and we have a base hit. Yeah, Reyna uh, just slapped Luis Reyna slaps. It went with the pitch. Took the outside pitch from Kramer on the corner, and that evens up the hits with uh, Reina single Syracuse now has three hits Buffalo has three hits but that ain't the department that counts fellas it's been great working with you Don, 